you or a loved one suffer from ADHD, stress, anxiety, depression, these are all problems treated with multiple medications that you have to carry around with you on a daily basis, and I am not a fan of that. I have a solution to all these problems that don't even involve a pill bottle. Music. Every day, for all of those problems, Music is a non-invasive, safe, cheap intervention, intervention that should be available to everyone. Author Catherine Meads, PhD of Brunel University, recommended in The Lancet. What is music therapy? According to American Music Therapy Association, it is the clinical and evidence-based use of music intervention to accomplish individualized goals within a therapeutic relationship by a credential Credential professional, professional who has completed an improved music therapy program. But let's put it this way it's just jams. Like you put in your headphones, you listen to your music, and hopefully you feel better. Who uses music therapy? Anyone who isn't completely deaf, just wants to jam out, or people with depression, anxiety, ADHD, schizophrenia, multiple problems. It's honestly one of the safest ways for you to help any of these situations. Um, music can benefit in a variety of situations and someone such as myself who needs empowerment and some kind of miracle to get through this speech mm -hmm. and listen to a lot of music so I could be here today. <laughs> People that want an alternate route other than medicine to help them physically, emotionally, socially, cognitively to get better. Individuals getting surgery listened to music before, after, and during their surgery, and it was proven that they needed less pain medicine just by listening to music. What kinds of ther music therapy is available? Well, active therapy would be making music, writing your own songs, chanting, playing an instrument. Like um, There are group drumming sessions that you can go to, and if you're in like therapy, you could like, beat a drum and a rhythm of how you're feeling, or receptive, which is just listening, and for autistic children, listening to music that explains emotions helps them understand how other people feel with their reactions. And there is also a group for individuals, it's whatever you want to do. Studies by legitimate sources have been done involving Durham University in the UK, found in their research that for some people, even sad music brings people comfort and pleasure. They did three surveys of 2,400 people focused on emotion and memorable experiences. And most experiences were positive, but there will always be that one guy that doesn't like anyone, doesn't think anyone likes him because he's 23, and nobody likes you when you're 23. Reference to What's My Age Again by Blink-182. 2013 study in the Journal of Positive Psychology found that people who listen to upbeat music, their happiness was improved in just two weeks. Participants were instructed to try to find a way to improve their happiness and so they wouldn't be feeling forever sad. Also a reference to Forever Sad by Paris. In a press release, author Yuma Yuna Ferguson noted that happiness has been linked to better physical health, higher income, and greater relationship satisfaction because how could you not find the love of your life if you're singing I Can't Help Fall in Love and your Elvis Presley voice playing that air guitar? Ooh. In 2015, a review in The Lancet found that people listening to music while getting surgery actually helped them deal with their anxiety and feel less pain. There were 73 trials done on over 7,000 patients in all cases. There was no negative outcome. It concluded that music is a valid therapy to potentially reduce depression and anxiety as well as to improve your mood and your self-esteem. There were absolutely no negative side effects and the music had a low, was a low risk treatment. We've all been moved by a song that spoke to us in particular circumstances. Little bits of Mozart for when you're feeling, you're trying to study or just relax. Sad music or for someone who's mourning a death. Pumped up rap and turn up hood music before a soccer or basketball game because you need to win. Examples of music for these situations are Fight Song by Rachel Patton, Don't Stop Believing by Journey, because some win, some lose, we're all in it together. Just keep believing. Um, I Hate Everything About You by Three Days Grace, which just when you hate someone or you're just really angry. 
I can't help falling in love with you for when you really want to slide my girl's DMs. I want to dance with somebody if I went to Houston, but you're clearly the musician of that song when you're jamming it in the shower until you fall. There's a song for every occasion, every situation, and every struggle, and if there isn't one, write one. It'll help. I took a Twitter poll, and I asked people, does music improve your mood, help you through rough times, or alleviate physical, emotional, and or mental pain? And 127 people voted on this poll, and 96% said yes, and only 4% said no. I feel like that's something that we can all take into consideration, because who doesn't get on Twitter? And I mean, Twitter's right. Music therapy has helped various people in various situations, and its popularity is gradually increasing. It's been proven cheaper and healthier for your body than almost all medicines. If you're looking for an alternative solution to your problems, look into music therapy and see if it works for you. And don't forget to just carry on my word son. Reference to carry on my word son by Kansas. And now I'm going to make the great escape. Also another reference to boys like girls, the great escape.